Hi, I'm Natalie Ledwell and this is The Inspiration Show. Now today I have a very special guest with me, Eldred Dufashard. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Good being here. <laughs> um, now the reason that uh, we've asked, I've asked you here on the show in, in our Passion Peeps segment is because you have a really amazing story that I know a lot of people who, who watch the show uh, would get a lot out of it. So. You know, you are living a life of passion at the moment, yes. but mm -hmm. it wasn't always like that. So no, can you wasn't. share your story with us, please? <laughs> sure. There was a period in my life where, you know, some of you may have a little fear of spiders or a fear of heights, things of that nature. But imagine turning that up 10 times and your fear is of being around other people. <laughs> that was my fear. I was diagnosed with a social phobia in my early 20s and that lasted into my early 40s and just being just leaving the house you know being around people having to run into friends and family it was a struggle and it all started when I was a teenage boy in my earlier years I was an extrovert I was very confident uh, very successful in everything I did but my ego got a little bit too much of me at the age of 14 in school I stole some money from a cafeteria and what happened they caught me and what the school decided to do was put me on trial in front of the students the teachers and everyone there at the school and I had character witnesses and so forth and from that experience they they expelled me but about five years later I was in a classroom at San Diego State University and I was called on by a professor and when I stood up to answer the question all this fear just overcame me and I felt like everybody was judging me and I started sweating profusely and my heart was beating like crazy and I just ran out the classroom and from that day forward for the next 20 years felt like everywhere I went I was being judged by every single person on planet earth and it made life very difficult for me on a daily basis just going to the grocery store sometimes I would get so nervous in a grocery store I'd have a basket full of groceries and when I walked to the front to check out I see a long line of people and I would just leave my groceries right there in the line so there were several aspects of my life that was very oh, very fearful but you know, in the end, I always knew that there was more to life and, you know, this led me to a lot of drinking later on because I just wanted to drown my feelings in alcohol. And it was a very lonely experience because my relationships with women, per se, I didn't have any because I was so afraid to talk to people, but women, that's just another... Yeah, another level. Yeah, another level, <laughs> so that made things even worse and trying to explain myself to my friends and family no one just could not comprehend the type of feelings that I was feeling and they just mainly just said can't you just get over it and believe me if I could get over that easy I would have dropped it like a bad habit but it was not that easy so that was my life for 20 some odd years and um, it came to a point where I was drinking so much that I went to the doctor and he told me that I had a fatty liver and uh, pre-diabetic and was on my way to having gout and all these quandary of things so I made a decision that day in the doctor's office that I couldn't live my life like that anymore and that's when things started to change. Right, so because you know often it's like one event or like a series of events that gets you gets you from fatty liver and pre-diabetic <laughs> yes. to you know healthy and, mm -hmm. and not shy guy right so, so <laughs> was that the one event or was there a series of things that happened that got you to this point well I think that was the the wake me up call right there and that point was I just knew there was something inside of me saying that there's more to life than this, there's more to you. I'm wanting to come out and show the real you, but I've been suppressed all these years of fear, living in this fear with this social phobia that it's, it's your time. And I had been doing a lot of reading spiritual books and stuff of that nature and listening to a lot of positive tapes. 
And I just knew there was something more that was ready to come out, and it was just, oh, it was eating at me. Yeah.